Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Auntie Sham. Today I am going to make some fried menwa with shrimp and potatoes. Some tomatoes and here I have one garlic, one onion and one pepper which I will grind to chunky it. The shrimps is like about a half a pound. I have to fry this up too. I'm going to show you when I am doing that. And today we all know in Guyana we call this Nenwa. But Nenwa is a Hindi name for this vegetable. And the English name for this vegetable is <laughs> Sponge Gourd. So so begin to cook this you have to like cut it and peel it so this is how you have to take the skin off and the younger the nano is it's better to cook because when it gets fat it will have a big hard seed inside which will not melt in the curry so i finish peeling this piece i will cut it across there and i will cut it into small pieces like this and this is how it's going to look and as you can see the seeds are very young but if you buy the fat ones it will have a bigger seed and it will be high so i'm going to continue peeling all of this and cut it up nicely like this and i will show you the other step so here i finish washing and cutting the nenwa the potatoes my tomatoes and i grind up my onion garlic and pepper and i'm now going to chunky this adding half of my tomatoes here. I chip up three tomatoes. And I'm adding in the shrimp to fry. I will allow this to fry until it's dried release it with um, natural water and dry out um, I already add a little salt only for the shrimp so friends my shrimp fried up here nicely all the rank water borne out back and the oil is coming up back to the top so now I am going to add my nenwa into it and my potatoes and I cut the potatoes a little thick not too thin not too thick because the nenwa does give off a lot of water and that will the same water will um, enable the potato to boil but i don't want the potato to melt away so i cut it a little bit thick i'm also going to add some salt not too much too because this wouldn't be a lot when it finished cooking it it will melt up a lot i will show share with you how much i get from this see how nice it's looking with the tomato fry up in the 
trim it already gives it a nice color and I am going to add my additional tomatoes near to the end so it will get a nice little more brighter color but for now I will cook it so like until it's half we cook so this is like about 20 minutes um, my nano and potato and shrimp cook in here and I am now going to add my extra tomatoes I will allow it to dry a little more and I will share with you what it looks like when I empty it and here I am lucky to have my daughter Samantha home and she volunteered to make us some nice paratha roti whole wheat so we will be having this with paratha roti it also goes well with rice but Roti is preferable. So here you have it friends. My nenwa, potatoes and shrimp. Finish cooking. Um, there are so many ways to do this. This can be a nice vegetarian dish also. With roti or rice. Could add it to it you could add chicken you could add crab you could add anything of your choice today i do it with shrimp so i do hope you enjoy watching my video and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel see you all in more upcoming videos love you all bye bye